As described in an ancient verse, when it gets warmer with gentle rains and partial sunshine, new buds shoot out after the first gentle thunder. Every year in March and April, when spring comes back in China, tea plants start to sprout. As the saying goes, good water and soil give birth to good teas. Now the tea farmers greet the harvest time of the year. It is also the busiest time for tea producers. They have developed teas of various flavors for people to drink and share by employing traditional manual techniques passed down for generations. Diverse social practices have been nurtured thereby. Traditional tea processing techniques and associated social practices in China consist of knowledge, skills and practices concerning management of tea plantations, picking of tea leaves, manual processing, drinking and sharing of tea. People in China began to pick, produce and drink tea thousands of years ago. In Mount Jung Mai, Yunnan province, local people have cultivated tea trees and managed their tea plantations for 1800 years. The classic of tea by the Tang scholar Lui in the late 8th century is the first treatise in China, in which knowledge of tea and related practices were elaborated systematically. The element is ubiquitous in Chinese people's daily life, rituals and festive events, providing sustainable livelihoods for people. And it is practiced, shared and valued by multiple ethnic groups. According to the classic of tea, tea is a fine plant indigenous to South China. Hundreds of varieties of tea plants are growing in south of the Qingling Mountains and Huaihe River, and east of the Qinghai Tibet Plateau, where there are four regions of tea producing, namely south of the Yangtze River, north of the Yangtze River, southwest China, and south China. In the long period of practices, according to natural conditions and local customs, communities, groups, and individuals concerned have developed green tea, yellow tea, dark tea, white tea, oolong tea, and black tea, known as six tea categories, as well as reprocessed teas like flower-scented teas. There are more than 2,000 tea products available in China. Preferences for tea vary in different places in China. For example, people in Zhejiang and Jiangsu like drinking green tea, while oolong tea is popular in Fujian and Taiwan. Inhabitants in Tibet, Qinghai, Xinjiang, and Inner Mongolia usually make buttered or milky tea with dark tea. Tea producers, tea farmers, and tea pluckers are the bearers and practitioners of the traditional tea processing techniques. Tea farmers run their tea plantations in accordance with laws of nature and ecology. Tea pluckers consist mainly of women. They do the picking and selection of tea leaves. Tea producers turn leaves into tea by applying series of techniques, including Sha Qing, enzyme inactivation, Men Huang, yellowing, Wu Dui, piling, Wei Diao, withering, Zuo Qing, leaves shaking and cooling, Fa Chao, oxidation or fermentation, and Ying Qi, scenting. It is an arduous but amazing progress. Take the processing of oolong tea as an example. First is Wei Diao. The purpose is to transpire water from leaves. Then is Zuo Qing, which is the core skill for oolong tea processing. The withered leaves undergo repeated shaking and cooling process for a constant loss of moisture and emanation of special fragrance of oolong tea. Tea producers then inactivate the enzyme of leaves by stir-frying them in a wok, which is called Sha Qing. After that comes Zhongye, which serves to crush the leaves, release the sap to coagulate on foliar surface. Last is Hong Bei. Tea producers put the leaves in the roasting frames over charcoals encased by ashes to dry the leaves slowly. By now, the first round of processing is finished.
The manual processing depends on personal experience and judgment of tea producers, who therefore shoulder special responsibilities for the transmission and development of the techniques. Just as the common saying goes, there are seven daily necessities in a household. Firewood, rice, oil, salt, sauce, vinegar, and tea. In Chinese people's life, drinking tea is not only their habit, but a significant part of some rituals and festive events. For instance, when a visitor comes, he or she is greeted with tea. The newlyweds serve tea to their parents at weddings. Tea hobbyists get together to taste tea and conduct tea competitions. Tea farmers worship their god of tea, as on such occasions of the tea festival, in Panan County, Zhejiang province, twice a year in both spring and autumn. These practices contribute to promoting harmony within families and among people, and enhancing cultural identity and social cohesion. At the same time, the element facilitates the development of cultural expressions such as tea wear making, tea songs, and tea operas. All this reflects cultural diversity and human creativity. The element is transmitted from generation to generation, mostly in traditional ways within clans, communities, and through master-apprentice relationship. Knowledge and techniques, particularly some specific skills and know-how, are transmitted among clan members. Guided by their masters, apprentices acquire relevant knowledge, skills and know-how through participatory observation and practices. In households and communities, etiquette and customs of drinking and serving tea are taught by the elders to the next generation. So are the experience in organizing tea-related rites and traditional ceremonial knowledge. A community-based ICH transmission and practice center for female tea practitioners was established in view of providing sustainable livelihoods for women. The element has also been integrated into the curriculum of vocational colleges and universities with more than 3,000 graduates specialized in tea producing and tea art every year. In order to ensure the viability of the element, communities, groups and individuals concerned have taken various safeguarding measures, with much emphasis on raising the youngsters' awareness of safeguarding the element. Communities, groups, and individuals concerned made concerted efforts to set up a working group and worked out a five-year safeguarding plan to take collaborative safeguarding actions. Chinese people like tea, for tea is a refreshing green drink, good for health. Chinese people love tea, for people nurture insights into and sensibility of nature and life through ritualized moments of brewing, savoring, and appraising tea. Chinese people cherish tea, for it reflects the values of modesty, harmony, comedy, and respect, and has profound influence on moral cultivation and shaping of personality. Traditional tea processing techniques and associated social practices in China has constantly facilitated exchanges and mutual learning among different civilizations and is playing an important role in promoting the sustainable social development. <laughs>